Hey, I'm Juan Monk. And I'm Watership. And we are Endurance Gaming. Endurance Gaming. Yeah, exciting, isn't it? Well, right. maybe. Maybe. So today we're going to start out uh, kind of a series, you can call it. We broke apart the hideout in different stages. And these stages focus on certain, uh, uh, what word am I looking for here? Stations. Uh, uh, systems. Systems. <laughs> state. Uh, you know what? No. Whatever. <laughs> Moving on. I, we, just, we just talked about this. Um, um, stations. Yeah, stations. Right. So okay. we broke it apart. And what, what do we want first? What do you focus on first? And we thought, well, if we're focusing on the hardcore series, we're going to want places at craft because we need items to help us through the series because you can't buy stuff from traders or flea market. So... We thought the first stage would be Laboratory 2, uh, Med Station 2, and Workbench Level 1. Yeah. Now we have this graph, as you can see on the right of the screen, and we broke it into two parts. The part one, essentially, is every station you need to get to the station you want, the three I just mentioned. And now, of course, there are some added things like heating and rest place level one, but really that didn't have a place, so I just threw that in there. But with that on the side, part two is all the state, what the items you need for the stations that you actually, that we're trying to obtain, if that makes sense. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, for the mm -hmm. most part, but it'll make more sense when we go through it, so. Okay. All right, so we're on the wiki here, so we're going to go through each one of those uh, sta stations and talk about the items that we need, maybe discuss it a little bit, and then at some point we will talk about some of the crafts. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, great. I'd say that would be great. Okay. Are you ready? You, am I ever? <laughs> I mean, let's well, be honest. Questionable. questionable. All right, so um, <clears throat> right now we're on, um, on the top of the list. It is laboratory number one. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it looks like here we need one toilet paper, one toothpaste, and one soap, and 2,000 rubles. You know, I feel like toilet paper is always needed because in this game like Escape from Tarkov, you're always like freaking out and panicking, and you're going to need some toilet paper quite often. So in other but words, that... you're saying people shit their pants a lot. Correct. That is absolutely what I'm saying, except I didn't That's really want to say that directly, you know? And then you need soap to wash your hands. That's true. That's a good That's point. I'm not really sure why I need clean teeth. I'm not trying to impress anyone. And you don't see any female PMCs out there. so Or scabs. So. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. At least, yeah, not yet. So I don't get it. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Moving on. What's the next one on the list? Uh, well, let's see here. You want to start with laboratory, too. So okay. to get to laboratory, two. You said laboratory one. Well, you can't get the laboratory one without water collector one. So, what do we need for water collector one? Water collector one. This one's a little rough, but is manageable. Um, three duct tapes, five screw nuts, and five bolts, and three, sorry, four corrugated hoses, along with security one. So, let's go to security one real quick and look at that. I think that's pretty simple. Um, so security one is uh, twenty thousand rubles and one construction measuring tape. Yeah, that that would be done pretty quickly. Like, yeah, that right. one I'm not too worried about. Okay, so <clears throat> now we got that away. Let's go back to water collector. So yeah, um, what do you think about that? That's a lot of. That's um, seventeen items, and it takes up. Let's see, eight, eight, twenty-one slots to get all these items. You know, in an ideal world, um, between the uh, trader items and the hideout, we would get all these relatively quick. But I have a feeling in the beginning, we're not going to get much of this right away. Right. You know. <clears throat> well, I mean, I feel like these items are not super rare. No, I, I they're all easy. It's just a matter mm -hmm. of going out and getting them, you know. And, and I mean, it just it, essentially a lot. You're probably going to be sitting on a lot of the items mm -hmm. until you get. I mean, you, you you might be sitting on five screw nuts and five bolts and three duct tapes and 
you know, three corrugated hoses in it, it might take you a few minutes. It's going to last one. It's just going to take a while just to get them, even though you're, I mean, realistically, you can almost find one of these things per raid, you know, if not more. Mm, yeah, that's definitely true. So, and it's so. actually quite amazing that you need so many of those early on in the game. And then later on, it's like they become uh, more or less trash. Yeah, right. Um, another thing I just wanted to mention is like the screw nuts and bolts. Like those are are pretty easy to find, but you need a ton of them just in general. So, yeah. Um, yeah. For always, all sorts. And, of... Any. Yeah. Yeah. And even the corrugated hoses are pretty. I think there's another um, early. Yeah, there's actually you need quite a few of those in the yeah, beginning. So those are all very like. I mean, if I see see a screw nut and a bolt, I'm even if I have five of them. If I have each already, I'm, I'm keeping them every time. So. Yep. All right. So you said water collector, and what else did you say? It was security, which we covered. Security. Okay. So, so the next... So, hmm? I was going to say, are we going back to Laboratory 2 then? Yeah, so now the Laboratory 2, which we probably should have started from the bottom up, but whatever. Uh, uh, laboratory 2, what do we need for that? Uh, so... First, before we go into the items, um, it does require water collector one, like we talked about, and yep. then vents, vents one. So let's go there first. Really? Yes. Well, well, the reason why we never really talked about it is because all it takes is money. Oh. Vents one, twenty five thousand rubles, done. So it's pretty easy. So. Okay. Ha! Got you there. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. Yeah. Can't complain. Okay, so items here we go again. We got. I knew there was corrugated hoses for something. You need three corrugated hoses. Yeah. Uh, five packs of screws, one electric drill, and one keck tape duct tape. To be honest, I forgot about the pack of screws. Oh. Yeah. Well, I, well maybe they added them recently because, you know, they made some adjustments. In the last well, few. I just meant that I forgot them in general, but... Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, you need them, so, so don't forget them anymore. So this one, probably... To me, the hardest thing is going to be the electric drill, mainly because that's a four-slot item, and given that we won't be having, always have four open slots to put an item in. That's true. You don't, backpack, you don't have a backpack. I mean, I mean, I've definitely passed these up a few times because I've only had, like, I haven't had enough space to put them. So. Yep. In our last video when we were talking about the trader items uh we liked a lot of the backpack trades but then you forget you have to be at least level 13 so between 1 and 13 you're not gonna right have backpacks really well yeah unless you loot them from uh scabs yeah even that alpha rig is the same thing it has a four slot but it's also a uh, regular level two it isn't regular man regular level two level 15 or is it 13 i believe it's I think because I thought. Oh I yeah, thought right. It's fifteen. Yeah. I think it's therapist as thirteen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, it doesn't take a ton of time to get there. No, you know? I mean, Once you... on your main account, it doesn't take a long time. But on hardcore, I feel it's going to take longer yeah. than we expect because you can't buy anything. You know what I mean? Right. And I mean, this one is like kind of the end. Laboratory two is the end of like. Probably one of the last, last or second last things you're gonna get in in this uh, stage or whatever. So. Correct. So it's not a huge deal, but that's what you can strive for. So corrugated hoses again, three of them, easy to get. Um, keck tapes, I don't know, I find those all the time. Yeah, I've been noticing that too lately. I don't know yeah. if we we're just getting lucky or they increased the loot of it. Who knows? Yeah, possibly. Pack of screws. Eh, you know what? Honestly, like. These are not always the easiest to find for me. So, I don't Late, know. We'll see. I, I don't know. I, like, lately I've been, like, not looting them because in my head I thought they were only for uh, the shooting range. And I'm like, yeah, what do oh. I need a shooting range and a hardcore account, you know? Oh, man, you blew it. I know. See, that's why you need to – that's why we suggest to everybody that you have this list ready. Yep, yep. Got it on never that monitor, know. print it out. Yeah, you're never going to know or remember everything. That's why we're doing this. So. Yep. There you go. Prime example. Okay, what is next? So Laboratory the next thing we want is Med Station 2. Okay. In the so Med Station that? 2, you need Generator 1 and Security 1, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, let me just look. Uh, just Generator 1. 
Okay. So we'll do that for. Uh, well, well, I guess we can do the med station one first here. Um, med station one's pretty easy. Fifty thousand rubles, one disposable syringe, and one pile of meds. And actually, I in our uh, gameplay right now, I have that done. So nice, pretty easy. Um, and then generator one is also pretty well. Did we talk about security already? Yeah, we did. Right? Yeah. So security is great because it actually goes for both the laboratories, um, two and the med station two. So, um, so it levels one security first, and then one spark plug. Pretty simple. Yeah. So I'm um, now on. So what's going to be hard in this again is this, to me is probably going to think be the one that you get to the la uh, last of our stage one and mainly because you need therapist level two, which is you need to be level 13 to do that. So, yep. so you know, it's, it can well, be... yeah. Keep in mind these stages are goals. So part two is our <laughs> end goal for this stage. Well, part one is all what needs to get to that goal. Oh well, yeah. I gotcha. So, so it's expected so, to be at the end. Right. Exactly. And when you get to the end, that's when I, we come out with the stage two video. Bam. Yeah, just that'll like be, that. That'll be, yeah, that'd be that's when the real fun begins. Okay, so um this one you need, as I said, level one generator, uh level two therapist, also a health level two, which I believe is pretty simple to get to by that time. Uh hundred and fifty thousand rubles, which isn't too bad. And then uh three saline solutions, two medical blood sets, and five S Marsh. Tourniquets. Mm -hmm. Thoughts. What do you think about that? I think absolutely nothing because I totally zoned out there, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Three salines, four blood sets, and five tourniquets. <laughs> I think the, the solution is going to be hard to find. Uh, I honestly don't find many, not even on my main account. Yeah. Uh, blood sets are, they're still rare, but I still get them. So yeah, yeah. those are the two of the most concerned ones to me. I, I feel like this is, to get this stuff, we're probably going to have to go to like places that ha obviously have, you know, good med drops. Yep. I know. Um, uh, obviously Woods. Woods. Like, um, what is it? The U set? No. What is no. Like, like, Avacom <sighs> camp or whatever. I don't think it yeah, has an official name. I forget what Pestilli calls it. Um, yeah. The FOB, I think. I can't remember. So don't quote me on that. Yeah. I mean, as you as we've mentioned, if you've seen any of the other videos, we, we were really not that great at this game or know a lot about it. So <laughs> we're getting there. Um, I'm very bad at the uh, just the names of the buildings and crap and all the maps. So what you know what it is. It's the, it's the one, like, kind of the, yeah. the middle the middle southern part of the map, right south of the south uh, east of the. What's well, on the other side of the lake of the uh, lumber yard. the lumber yard, correct? Right. In the old part of the woods, the original map. Right. So. Also, I think there's a little cot or something in maybe the Usec camp that has some meds on it. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And also, you know, obviously there's med bags everywhere. Yep. Um, you got the crack house on uh, <laughs> customs. Cost, yeah, that's a great one. Um, you got um, any uh, energy you have. If well, you and it, well, I was going to say, there's, there's one that doesn't require a key. That's, um, oh, there's not? Yeah, there's, um, what is it called? I can't remember. It's kind of near the, um, geez, I can't remember what it's called. But there's like one medical spat that does not require a key. Okay, because I know that I know the two on interchange yeah, that require the key, the ultra medical and the I think it's called Emercon something. I don't know, but it's near yeah. idea. I, the only other med the, thing uh, I know uh, of that place is there's one bag in the garage. No, but, so so also you're missing the pharmacy that needs a key. Oh That's yeah, fine. underneath the yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yep. But there's a fourth one, and it's near the um, Emercom one on the second floor. Huh. I like uh, how vague uh, we are, if anyone's 
gets to this point in the video, they're going to be like, these guys are idiots. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that, exactly. That, I love that's, it. That's, <laughs> that's the point. Um, I guess we'll have to figure out what that is. But I, I know where it is, kind of. Okay. It's like it's like around the corner of the Emercom one. I don't know. Maybe yeah. one day we'll be as knowledgeable as the rest of the streamers. Yeah, and maybe one day we'll actually go into interchange in the middle there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a little rough. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, we're definitely going to have to loot some uh, medical areas to get this stuff because they're not going to just be laying mm -hmm, around. Mm -hmm. listening. Okay, so med station one and two is done. What is next? Uh, workbench level one. Okay, workbench. Okay, uh, pretty simple. Um two screw nuts, two bolts, and one leather Leatherman multi-tool. Hmm. So the Leatherman multi-tool you can actually purchase from a mechanic. So that's nice. You don't, That's like probably the only item you can purchase for the workshop. Like yep. For the, uh, quest you know. items you can purchase. So that, the beacon, and the camera. Yeah. But I think it's the only one you, that you can purchase that you use in a work. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hide, hide, hide out, hide out, hide Correct, out. correct. So <clears throat> there it is again. Um, screw nuts and bolts. Again, very. Yep. Four. So you need a total of seven for those two stations. So. Okay, that's the easy one. So is yeah. that was that all of them? Or? Well, it all the main goals, but I also added rest place level one and heating level one because when I was creating the. Uh, multiple stages of how I'd break apart what you need. Uh, it really didn't have a place for me, and I didn't feel like, well, these are so easy, I'm not going to put them in stage three, you know? I might as well just get them done right away. So right. we can okay. go over those two real quick. Okay, uh, re a rest, pay? Yeah. rest space. So so simple. Um, Again, I think we have vents level one at this point. Yeah, because that, oh, yeah a little bit of rubles. Anyway. Yeah. So uh, ten thousand rubles and one duct tape. So simple, you know. Yeah. It's gonna, it's done. gonna get you're gonna get it done anyway. So. Yep. And uh, heating level one. I believe that's two matches. It two, is. Two classic matches again. Pretty simple. Yeah. Twenty five hundred. Sorry, twenty five thousand rubles. And matches are so easy if you start <clears throat> looting the cabinets. So. Right. Right. There you go. Uh, okay, so that's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. So we also include a few of the crafts on the graphic too, but we there are more uh, crafts we do care about, but in thinking about space, we didn't add them. But a lot of the crafts that I like is the same as the traders, and that's uh, storage uh, cases, you know? Anything that increase my space and my stash. Uh, so obviously the lucky junk box is my... My to go. That's the. I'm more likely to find the items to craft that than for me to kill 100 PMCs on a hardcore account. <laughs> so I'm just being honest, you know. I, I I'll be happy if I got 10 kills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, just to kind of go over that one real quick. Um, <clears throat> the items are pretty easy to find. Um, in the sense of one metal cutting scissors six bolts and three cut tapes but the problem is is the three magazine cases yep <clears throat> which require a lot of the same things um but those expendiary fuel tanks we're gonna need six of those that's gonna that's gonna be rough between the two of us so 12 between the two of us yeah it's gonna be really yeah it's, not, it's gonna be rough <laughs> So. And I think there is a... And we're level 5 already in our main thing. We have still not found... We haven't found one yet, so... Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, um, <clears throat> as you can see on the on the image here, on the graphic, um, we have a couple of crafts. Um, again, mostly cases and stuff. Um, backpacks, rigs, yep. ammo, stuff like that. Some of the things that really stuck out to us. I mean, there's obviously more that we were going to go for, but yeah, in the interest yeah. of uh, space, we kind of just stuck with these ones. Right, right. 
so yeah um i don't know if you got anything else to say but i uh yeah. well um as always you know uh, likes and just su subscribe you know uh you can catch this oh, yeah. graphic in the comments or description below i should say so if you want to download it and bring it on your second monitor or print it out you're always welcome to do that uh other than it that I got absolutely nothing. free is it we do not charge a penny for this no we don't but they had to wait probably at least 10 minutes to watch this entire video to realize it was down there so oh yeah so that well, it, it costs time sure, you know i mean yeah i'm sure some people figured it out they're pretty smart but that's did, true well, they probably just, just cheated and looked what do these guys got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it, and please watch some of our um, uh, gameplay. Yeah. Stuff We're gonna be cool. doing our uh, full raids for hardcore soon, and do some highlight videos, and hopefully you enjoy those, or at least have yep. a good laugh. And then um, stage two of um, crafts and barters. Yeah. All right. Okay. See you later. See ya.